Adina's introductions are always so wonderful that it's almost a hard act to follow, but <laughs> we'll go on. Um, the basic idea of this book as it is now is very simple. It's 20 writers, each one writing about a part of the body in a, a personal way, but also in an informative way. Um, it's an idea that's been, it's one of those ideas that's been brewing for a very long time, uh, over 10 years. I, I wanted to do something like this, but it's had to go through a variety of different forms in order to find a publisher who could understand and, and really want to do it. Um, so, one thing I must say right off is that it's not just my baby. Um, it's also uh, co-edited by Lynn Van Leuven at the University of Victoria, who's a friend of mine. Unfortunately, she can't be here today, though we will, in a minute, see a little bit of her on, on the screen um, through the miracles of technology. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what is the appealing parts of this? the way the book finally ended up, this 20 writers each taking part of the body, um, is that it is writers who are considering the body. And I suppose we think of writers as perhaps being quite cerebral people. But here, um, they're being turned around and using all that, um, the, those linguistic and intellectual skills to sort of bring themselves back to where it all comes from, which is the flesh. So. That's a really nice thing that the book does. Um, the other thing I wanted to say before we leap into it is how much of a wonderful experience it's been putting it together in many different ways for me. I'm used to being totally responsible for something which might take me sort of several years to write, research, edit. And here, um, by opening up a subject that interested me, to 20 other people, I've uh, lost control, which I do think is, you know, occasionally at least a good thing. So all sorts of perspectives have been revealed, which I, I would, fascinating as I've found every one of these body parts, and although part of me would have liked to do each one myself, it's far, far better this way, because um, this way we have access to a sort of plethora of stories and experiences and perspectives that otherwise we wouldn't have. And the other thing that was great fun was working with Lynn. Um, we mainly work with email, editing the essays and commissioning them. And um, given the nature of the project, um, you can imagine that our subject line lines were increasingly hilarious as we passed the body part essays back between us for uh, consideration. Um, I'm passing Ty's skin over to you. <laughs> what do you think of Lorna's brain? <laughs> um, here are my breasts. And so, and so on and so forth. So it was a really energizing and enjoyable experience to put this book together um, and to be in the dark about what exactly was going to be in it until the pieces began to trickle in one by one and then to be, just as Adina was, surprised by the contents and the way they were written and the ingenious formal things that people had done. So it's a serious book. This is the beauty of it in the end. It's a, it's a kind of philosophical, um, has a philosophical underlying, but it's actually very entertaining and moving. So I hope um, that's how you'll find it and that you'll um, agree with me on that. We're going to start with um, our technological wonder, which is a brief five minutes, uh, which will bring in some of the authors who couldn't be here today because... Um, we've, we've got five readers today, but we had some different ones in Victoria. So the brief movie will include some who are here and some who are not. Oh, I think the book is a wonderful collection.